an immense cosmic boulder rockets in from deep space on a direct collision course with Earth. When it hits, it unleashes a global catastrophe. This is not science fiction. It happened 65 million years ago. And much of life on Earth, including the dinosaurs, died. Today, many scientists believe that this is not a one-time event, that what wiped out the dinosaurs could happen again. And we could be next. Will another impact occur? You bet. It's going to happen again. The Earth is sitting out there with a bullseye on it. What are these mysterious invaders? Where do they come from? And if one threatens the Earth again, will we be able to stop it in time? We think of comets as some of the heavens' more spectacular pieces of eye candy, and most are benign, orbiting harmlessly around the sun. But some will inevitably collide with another body, like Earth. At speeds of over 40,000 kilometers per hour, even a small cosmic raider can wreak enormous havoc. As one did in Arizona's northern desert, 50,000 years ago. It began as a brilliant glow in the northern sky. It was over in an instant. The huge rock, almost 20 meters wide, left a crater about one and a half kilometers across and 230 meters deep. In cosmic term, this was a relatively small collision. If the same boulder struck today, just 55 kilometers west, it would destroy the town of Flagstaff, Arizona, and its population of 56,000 people. An even larger collision with an object two kilometers or more in diameter could cause devastation on a global scale. An impact by a comet will kill so many people and can produce such long-term changes in the environment that it can be a complete catastrophe for all of humanity. Scientists now believe a single blast from space helped wipe out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. A comet or asteroid about 10 kilometers across slammed into Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It dug a crater nearly 200 kilometers wide and 30 kilometers deep in less than a second and unleashed an explosion more powerful than all the world's nuclear weapons combined. The force of the shock waves triggered earthquakes worldwide and sent tsunamis surging across the oceans. A mammoth dirt cloud erupted kilometers into the sky engulfing the globe and blocking out the sun for years. The dinosaurs slowly perished, and they were not alone. More than half of the Earth's species were also wiped out. In our solar system, there are two kinds of cosmic bullets capable of devastation on a planetary scale, asteroids and comets. Asteroids are essentially tiny planets, dense boulders of rock and metal, left over from the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Most are bunched between Mars and Jupiter in an orbit called the asteroid belt. Comets, on the other hand, are far more mysterious. Though also formed at the birth of our solar system, they are made up of rock and ice. Many, like Comet Halley, orbit the sun in predictable paths on predictable schedules. But there are countless others we know nothing about. They come hurtling out of the ether at unimaginable speeds of more than 30,000 kilometers per hour. 
for scientists peering into space, they appear as lumps of charcoal on a black canvas, invisible until they are practically upon us. Only near the sun do comets become easier to detect. These icy bodies shed gas and dust as the sun warms them. When light hits the debris, they blaze into view and can be seen for millions of miles. But by that time, if one is headed for us, it may be too late to do anything to stop it. To date, more than 1,000 comets have been identified. Every year, we spot perhaps 100 comets we've never seen before entering the inner solar system. Each new arrival increases the odds that one will eventually strike the Earth. The Earth is in a cosmic shooting gallery. We get hit by pieces of comets and asteroids of all size, and the big ones certainly pose a very real threat. It's only a matter of time before the comet is in the same place as the Earth. Giant pockmarks all over our planet testify to past assaults. And these collisions may be more frequent than we like to think. The latest happened a little more than a century ago. In 1908, a massive explosion rocked Tunguska in Russia's remote region of Siberia. Eyewitnesses described a flying star with a fiery tail. The sky opened to the ground and a fire brighter than the sun poured out. Whether an asteroid or a comet, it collided with the Earth's dense atmosphere at such a high rate of speed, the friction caused it to explode in midair. It blew up five miles above the surface of the Earth, creating this huge explosion and lit up the atmosphere for days. You could actually read in Europe at night. The Tunguska blast, as we now call it, was bigger and more powerful than the eruption of Mount St. Helens. It left no telltale crater, but it did flatten a forest of millions of trees over hundreds of square kilometers, an area bigger than that of Washington, D.C. If that would have happened over a metropolitan area, it would have just wiped out the population for thousands of square kilometers around the impact site. To astronomers, Tunguska was a near miss a relatively minor impact. What would a truly catastrophic collision look like? In 1994, scientists got a vivid demonstration when a comet slammed into Jupiter. Astronomers first spotted Shoemaker Levy 9 just over a year earlier. As the comet made its way from the outer solar system toward the sun, it had passed close to Jupiter, dangerously close. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It has an enormous gravitational pull. As the comet passed by, the giant planet pulled it nearer. Then, the comet began to break apart. These lighter pieces, less than two miles in diameter, had no chance against Jupiter's mammoth pole. On July 16, 1994, they began to crash into the surface at speeds of more than 150,000 kilometers an hour. If there was any doubt that comets could hit planets, this showed it, you know, perfectly. Here's a string of comets in this, the solar system that are hitting the planet one by one. The explosions were enormous. Each impact sent plumes of dust and debris soaring thousands of kilometers into Jupiter's atmosphere and left huge scars on the gaseous giant's surface, some bigger than the Earth. The so-called G fragment hit with uh, six million megatons of equivalent energy. That's roughly equivalent to a Hiroshima-like blast every second for 13 years. 
What would a collision, even a fraction of that size, do to our Earth?